This thing called credit union, it is the best fertilizer that you can give to a people. When I joined the credit union, I was building my first home and I needed, I think it was $37,000 to finish the house. The credit union gave me the money and I completed my house. My name is Alston Stephen Wilson. It is recorded that I formed the credit union with the workers in Bermuda's Biscuit Company Limited. And because of a personal problem with a worker, I had to make a decision to advise my principals to assist the man. And about two weeks after that decision, I went to him with a proposal. Will you permit me to open a credit union in Bermuda's Biscuit Company? To which he agreed. It is people like Mr. Alston Wilson, one of the founders, who transformed that biscuit company into what Eastern is today, a multi-billion dollar organization. But what is most interesting is that Eastern caters for the little people. Oh my God, Eastern was my bread and cheese with butter. Eastern gave me everything. I remember when I just joined and I wanted to build my home, they loaned me either 10 or 15 to do the foundation. And when Mrs. Besso and Mrs. Ortley came, they saw where I was living. And Mrs. Besso said to me, Mary, you're not afraid that this house will fall on you? And I said, no, Mrs. Besso, God will protect me. She asked me, um, how much you will need again to at least make it livable that you can move in? And I told her and she lent me more. Very often we tend to think that the only way our quality of life could be improved is by depending on someone else. But in fact a credit union ensures that the members who participate are able to improve the quality of life by lending to members who are in need of those resources. My name is Nolan Cazo and I'm the owner of Nolan Design situated at La Jolla Complex St. Joseph. I've been a member of Eastern Credit Union for about 20 something years. Years ago Eastern Credit Union was running a small business seminar. I joined the group and Mr. Cross used to come down every day and watch how the group was operating. He realized that I was taking control of the group and one day he just asked me if I will run the place. I said, yes, yeah, it's 25 years now I'm here and it's 25 years now I'm doing this business. I got on board in 1973 actually. We have made some enormous strides after 43 years. There are about four or five pioneers who are still alive and they have made tremendous contribution to the growth, the development and the transformation of the institution. Pioneers are Stephanie Wilson, Alston Wilson, and in fact, Edward John Garcia. He worked at the Cooperative Credit Union League as a field officer. So he did a lot in terms of the growth of the organization. San Juan branch was right in the market of San Juan. And my first experience when I was transferred to that branch was a cultural shock. I came in this Saturday, did not know that they had market all in front of the branch. And the manager at that time, very mischievous, Peter Galalta, stood up at the branch and knew a new member was coming in of staff and looked at me, hopped over bundles of sweet potato. Excuse me here, Karaili, I'm mashing people Karaili, thinking, where am I going? That was to get to the branch. And that is the kind of growth we had from that stage to now. Well, I must say how proud I am in the context of such a noble institution that had grown from such small income to close to $2 billion worth in assets. So we were once at $58 and now we are close to $2 billion in terms of assets. We have moved from one clerk to a structure in an organization where you have executive managers, various categories of workers, with a staff of over 300 people. We are situated in nine locations in San Fernando, San Grigandi, in Chaguanas, Tobago, Port of Spain, Barataria, Arima, and Tanapuna. It's part of our vision and mission to go regionally and indeed internationally. We have a relationship with Credit Union in Barbados, one in Jamaica, one in Grenada. And coming out of that, we'd want to strengthen 
and encourage persons from those islands and beyond those islands to become members of the credit union. We are the only credit union with an ATM system. We have the La Jolla Complex, and we also have a subsidiary in terms of EPL Properties Limited that is responsible for development of property and maintenance of buildings and the like janitorial services. As the business development manager, I am responsible for the growth of all of the respective business units at EPL Property. We have a banquet facility, our newest addition to our properties that is located in Arima. We also have residential properties in Mount Lambert as well as in Arima. The La Jolla facility is our gem, our flagship, that is the brand that it is we are known. When we opened the facilities at La Jolla, that was a very memorable day. To so see in the credit union where it would have moved from to this giant edifice that we have here today, which is called La Jolla, the jewel of St. Joseph. We have an auditorium, conference center, swimming complex, a gymnasium, a preschool program, the courtyard of the artisan. Very importantly, we have two and three bedroom apartments. La Jolla Sporting Complex is one unique facility. It comprises of court activities such as basketball, gymnastics, volleyball, badminton, some indoor football, indoor cricket, water polo, therapy, aqua aerobics, and just fun in the sun swimming. We have come a long way and a few of us have contributed towards the development of this organization. And it hurts when you see people try to destroy this organization for a particular game. To my staff, I continue to urge them to maintain the philosophy of Easter. Do not let our taglines fall at the wayside. Serve the members, serve your internal customers, be a brother's keeper. Let your member be priority. Follow through for them. Be courteous. Members still meet me in town and give me their books. I am telling them I no longer in Eastern for the past probably 15 years. The service method out to me personally by members of staff is beyond question. Any branch for that matter, any branch of Eastern I go in, be it in Trinidad or in Tobago, staff members treat Mr. James George Thomas with the, re with the service that he rightly deserves. We have savings accounts, we have loans accounts, we have shares. We have the Evo account, we have jewel accounts. The shares account is what enables you to get loans. You need to save on your shares, you need to have a regular savings pattern in order to get loans because when it's time for a loan, you need to look and see how you're saving. Loans for property purchase, mortgages and so, and they're not lim limited to just maybe a hundred or two hundred thousand dollar loan. We go, you know, into the million dollar region in terms of lending. As a young person, I think it's important to save and also become a member of Eastern Credit Union because there are many benefits for us young people. I mean, I've been a member for approximately over 10 years and um, I have a substantial amount of money. My last daughter, her name is Joy. It is through Eastern Credit Union that Joy is able to obtain and still studying to be a registered nurse in Trinidad and Tobago. Credit Union gave me my children's education. It gives me my house. It gives me my car. It gives me my travel up to today at this age. I'm a long time member of Eastern Credit Union. I'm basically the manager of Arlene, Arlias and Ian e Mall. They were the ones that lent me the finance that I needed to buy the Arlene's Mall building. I have my home. I can get from about a stand because of Eastern Credit Union. You know, even gave me the opportunity to get my first vehicle. So my life has been totally transformed. You know, being a part of Eastern Credit Union, be able to um, put food on the table that, you know, myself and my family can be really, really happy. So I'm saying to you, it's a blessing. My advice to any family is to invest in a credit union and generally encourage savings. While we have grown significantly, I think we have basically just scratched the surface and I feel our quality of service is what is going to differentiate us and keep the members coming back time and time again. I have grown with 
and contributed towards Eastern Credit Union's development. I have seen many presidents after me and those before me, and we have all contributed towards the improvement of the credit union service. I urge the members be loyal as a commitment because we are providing, as a group of people, your daily bread and butter. As the Lord said unto his people, give us this day our daily bread. Work conscientiously and the organization will grow. And the organization will be a benefit to you and to your offspring. Mm -hmm.